San Jose State just joined a conference of only California teams. In this new Pac-12, San Jose State is the worst team and faces the toughest task. And there's a new head coach in town as they hired Coach Torque to take over the football program in hopes of leading them to a national title. In Coach Torque's first game, we stay able to play an FCS goal. Hopefully, this is an easy dub. We have the ball at the goal line and we hand it off to Kerry Robinson for the easy touchdown. Good job, Kerry. Trying to put the game away. Our defense has been awesome. As we keep it with Shevin, he has a clear lane. He cuts inside and runs it for the touchdown. We win 21 0 over the FCS goal to get Coach Brady Torque. His first W. Well, uh oh. Last in the conference, sitting at four and four. We beat some decent teams, but somehow lost to Charlotte, which is just a yucky loss. And we got butchered by USC, which is just wonderful. We do now get a chance to stop the losing streak. We're staying at home to play Cal, and we've got some very important recruits visiting, so let's just not suck. Up 14 in the fourth quarter, Shevin hands it off to Carey. He swerves inside, sees the end zone, gets in there to extend our 14 point lead. Thank the heavens we won that game. Really needed that. Coach Torque's first recruiting class needs to at least be decent. Happiness got some commits after the game, got a good foundation heading toward the end of the season. We finished 7-5 after beating San Diego State and Fresno State, but we did get spanked by UCLA, which is just not a surprise. So Coach Torque gets a bowl game in his first season against the UNLV running Rebels. Late in the fourth quarter up one, we hand it off to Jerry Robinson. He's going to score to take the late lead. For the fourth time winding down, their quarterback drops back and launches to an open receiver. <laughs> Yowzers! <laughs> That's funny! <laughs> Kyle Harmon played fantastic on defense, and we win the SRS Las Vegas Bowl. Coach convinced Viliami Fahoko. I think that's Hawaii-ish. Thankfully, he's coming back. He is a dog. We actually have a lot of graduates, which is okay. Let's coach have more scholarships for his players and his recruits. Coach Tour's first signing day is here, and it's nothing special, but there are some really solid players who could be really good in three to four years, specifically Mark White and Jacob Randolph. Hopefully, they don't transfer, or I'll be very sad. Last wasn't anything crazy in the rankings at 68th. Hopefully, we can outplay that. The team's looking a little better for your dose. Chevin is back at quarterback for his senior season. The Hawaii's is our best player, and Justin Lockhart, Sam Olsen, and Chase Williams are also really good, solid players. We jump up to a really good good 4-1 start of the season. Beat a couple decent teams, but got crushed by Minnesota. Now Coach Torque and the boys head to Sefu Stadium. Sifu? I don't know how you say that. It sounds like a sushi. Hopefully we can just win. Let's pray for a miracle. We're down 7, but Chevin is determined. Dropping back and hitting the slam for the walk-in easy touchdown. With not much time before half, we hand it off to Shamar Grant, and he gets it for the touchdown to cut the deficit. We're down 19. The dream is looking dead. Chevin drops back and launches it deep in. Yeah. That's not open. Dang it. Yeah, the Trojans are going to win, man. We lose 42-30. I am dead inside. We lost the next game this time to Stanford to drop the 4-3 and three before our Week 10 game against the 11th-ranked UCLA Bruins. Got a way better visitors list for this season compared to last year, so hopefully we can pull off the upset. Down 14, Chevin rolls to his right and hits Charles Ross for the touchdown to get on the board. I'm afraid this one is also looking bleak. Down 10 with only 34 seconds left. Chevin launched it downfield in the air, and yeah. That's intercepted. That's great. We lose to UCLA. It wasn't a surprise, but it would have been a great Christmas present if we won. We finished 8 4, which is good enough for third in the conference, so I guess there's improvement there. Well, well, wouldn't be a 10 man video if I didn't play Duke in a bowl game. In the late fourth, up 16, Chevin rolls to his right, looks downfield, finds an open receiver, and that's going to be a touchdown for Justin Lockhart. Chevin played awesome in his final game at quarterback, and we won the Holiday Bowl 35 12 over the Blue Devils. Tyra Voss is transferring. Worst mistake of that kid's life. Also saying peace to the Hawaii. She's gonna miss him and Chavon as well, but Coach Torque will push forward. Yas! Pig transfer portal edition. Maurice Gray from Tennessee. Super happy about his addition. Way better recruiting class this year. Got some Juco's also, some youngins. Joe Randall, Brandon Kinry, and Eddie Estes. I think that's how you say his name. All are the highlights of this solid class. There we go. Success. The top 30 class. I feel like it's a little slept on, but only time will tell. The team is looking solid for year three. I don't really know what to expect, truthfully. Now, Tom Woods is going to be our starting quarterback, and I'm not too psyched about the options we have there right now. But we do have an insane wide receiver core, Justin Lockhart and Charles Ross, so hopefully they can help him out. Another good start of the season opened up 4-1. I mean, every team we've played so far is really poopy. We lost to Akron, which just isn't a good look at all. We get a chance to pick up a solid win, though, at home against Stanford, so let's just try and ball out. On our first offensive drive, Natano hits and hits Nathan Lewis over the middle for the touchdown. This game went 180 real quick. We're down 14 and they have ball and hand it off and have a ton of room yet. Yeah, that's going to be a touchdown. Not good. We lose 41-20 over the trees. Our defense was a disgrace. This season just isn't looking too good. Regardless of the bad performance though, we landed a few really good commits. That is super huge for the future of this program. 4-5. and five. I'd say Tanner is surprised, but I am not. This team is a lost cost. We've lost four games in a row and ain't looking great. Thankfully though, we play Fresno State at home and they're struggling, so let's snap the losing streak. We went 21-7 over the bull Dogs, a big thanks to Kenyon Sims. He played fantabulous. We lost to California and beat San Diego State to finish 6-6, six six, which is just yuck. Maybe Jimmy Kimmel's bowl can salvage our season. 
Tied up early, Natano drops back, drifting, and launches, and hits Justin Lockhart, and he's going to get a touchdown. After that touchdown, we kept the foot on the gas, so it went 34-21 to 21 over Colorado State, and I don't know how they lifted Coach Torque up. That's a scientific anomaly if I've ever seen one. Convinced both of our elite receivers to stay in extra year, as well as convincing our safety, David Nelson, not to transfer. The senior class, though, wasn't too big, so not too many graduates. Gosh, I hate when this happens, man. Daniel's a side to sign nowhere, but besides that, a really stellar class, super happy with who he signed. Keith Thompson, Pat Gay, and Paul Green are all 80 overall or higher, which is much needed. Yes, a top 10 class happiness exists. Super stoked about this class for Coach Tor. For year four, the team is getting there. I'm liking what I'm seeing. The quarterback position is still meh. I really wish we got a quarterback year one. Mistakes were made for Coach Tork, but we returned both of our amazing receivers to help out Natano. Plus that defense, we have Dejon Roney and Brian Parham. Both lead that side of the ball. Olivia Rodrigo's back. We just could knock it over the hump, sitting at four and three on the year. Somehow lost to Colorado and Iowa State, but we also got obliterated by the trees again, so it just we beat everybody else, but it's just sadness. We have a chance to have meaning as we play USC at home with a ton of really high level recruits visiting, so let's pull off the impossible. We end up making a field goal before half to keep the game close with only a one point deficit. Yes, a chance to pull off a foot up, and the tunnel drops back with time winding down, throws to square, and just depression. I have no words. We lose by four at home. Katy Perry said it best. This was the one that got away, man. After getting bent over by UCLA, we return the favor to Fresno State. And thankfully, with this loaded conference, we have another chance to pull off an upset on the road against Cal. Down 11, Atano rolls to his right, looking for Circle. And yep, he's open. You guessed it. It's Justin Lockhart. The stud nubbin is going to get the touchdown for us. I don't know how, but we're up seven with around two minutes left. All we need is a first down to seal the deal. We hand it off to Jacob Galloway. And he has way too much room for the easy first down. Big thanks to this Katie Cat Justin. Just carried the offense in the 31 24 win over Cal, a much needed win for team morale. Getting very familiar with this record, finishing 7-5, we beat San Diego State in the last week to extend our win streak. Gosh, man, might as well get coach a second home in Las Vegas at this point. On the first offensive driver, back up his in, he drops back and hits the scene for a schmexy throw. Wow, good job. Game was as interesting as a doorknob. We won 28-19, and the players celebrate their 60th 8-5 season. Adios to those two soldiers, Justin Lockhart and Charles Ross. Both will be gone, but not forgotten. And had some other really solid players graduate, but they're immune to winning more than nine games so who cares definitely on the smaller side story of tanner's life this class isn't that big of course ken bell can't make a decision but to be fair the class had some really good players who were happy about snagging class finished 25th in the country a drop from last year's top 10 class let's just win more it'll make things so much easier year five is upon us the team is like in the smallest way possible getting better and you just gotta trust tan ben here we finally get new blood at quarterback with eric and he's easily the highest ceiling of any quarterback we've had so far so hopefully he can live up to his potential a running back room is kind of filthy with a 5 foot 8 elusive Jabari Bates and a 5 foot 11 235 bowling ball Jacob Galloway. Those two complement each other very well. And plus we have a loaded defensive tackle room. Hopefully it won't be easy to run the ball. We start the young season heading on the road to play the Arizona Wildcats hoping to pick up an awesome win to start the season. At the goal line in the first quarter we hand it up to Jabari and he bounces off the offense line and falls forward with a touchdown to get the early lead. Up four in the second quarter Eric rolls to his right and launches to an open receiver. Oh yes that's gonna be an easy touchdown to extend our lead. Eric Hoffman absolutely balled out in his first start and we won by 20 over arizona in an offensive explosion better improvement this is exciting five and one after beating some ant eh teams but again just got bopped by usc just is not good at all man we get a chance to get our season back on track at home against the second ranked stanford big trees late in the fourth quarter we have a chance to tie here as eric rolls to his right all the way to the sideline we cork it back and yeah that's intercepted just yeah neck it we finished eight and four in the season i mean we can't hit 10 wins to save our lives there's always just that one loss i just can't fathom like losing to unlv like yuck but we bounce back with back-to-back -back wins to finish the season. Ah, well, it looks like Coach Torque is going to be taking a visit to his second home. We bring Colorado State to the Wichita, winning 59-14 makes the season a little less sad. Joe Wood saw Eric play, decided he won't get any playing time. All the power to you can. We lose both of our elite defensive tackles to the draft, which is unfortunate. But besides that, nothing we can't reload. This is the type of recruiting class you wish you could get year one. I mean, this class is loaded top to bottom. Just super happy with it. Yeah, first Coach Torque's first top five class. Love to see it. Year six, and this team was looking sexy. I feel like I'm looking at Jessica Alba. I mean, Eric Huffman is the best quarterback we've had so far. We've also got some crazy weapons on offense at running back, receiver, and tight end. There we go. A 5-0 start of the season. Best start yet for this entire video. We beat some decent teams. A good sign is no game has really been that close, so that's awesome. But now we stay able to play our toughest task of the season against the Trojans. On the first offensive drive, Eric Huffman has been cooking. Eric drops back and hits the tight end. And holy cows! Simpson is a fast cougar. Oh my gosh, that's going to be a touchdown. Wow. Up 10 before half. Trying to get 7 here. Eric rolls to his right. Keeps running 
Ridley gets it. Does it go down? Eric fights for it. He's going to get the touchdown. He's a grown man. Let's go, Eric. We went 41-26 over USC in a big time win. Eric Hoffman continues the ball out. So happy for him. We finished undefeated in the regular season, finally getting over the hump and winning the Pac-12. We beat everyone and no game was really close at all. We finally got this team to an elite level. A three-team SEC college football playoff and we get to play Georgia round one. So let's go beat the dogs. Down seven early on. It's fourth down. We're going for it. Eric lost it over the middle and just drops it, man. We're getting slapped around. It's not looking great down 19. They hand it off in Evan Lane. Yeah, that's a touchdown. Yuck. We got bent over by Georgia. Just not a good look at all. No clue how that team lost two games. That's a Bermuda Triangle mystery that will never be solved. Trey Thompson transfers was unfortunate, but his loss. Thankfully convinced three studs, Brandon Wilson, Mike Reese, and Rodney Richardson to all come back. But we do lose some really good players to the draft and some other really good starters. But this program's in a great place. Another outstanding class for Coach Torque. Super hyped about this class. Diamond Dottie looks incredible at receiver. And we picked up 10 plus guys who are 70 overall or higher. Another uptick in the signing class rankings up to number two in the country behind our conference foe USC. Year 7 is commenced and yeah, this team is jacked like the rock. I mean, you see all the high 90 overalls, so much depth and quality throughout the team. Eric just a stud at quarterback. 99 overall, we continue to have a loaded wide receiver room for Eric to help him out. Started 7-0 of the season, really happy with the start. A lot like last year, every game has been a blowout, which makes Coach Torque happy. For week 10, we had on the road play UCLA in one of our toughest tests of the season. We can get field goal before half to tie it up. Hopefully we can pull away. All fourth, less than 2 minutes left. Eric drops back and hits Eddie Estes almost immediately and that'll be a touch and I make a 2 possession game. It's like clockwork. Eric played amazing and we won 31-26 over UCLA to continue our undefeated season. Finished 12-0 in back-to-back seasons. Just insane in offense. Scoring 589 points this season. <laughs> no game after the UCLA one was close and we scored 70 on San Diego State. So yeah, the offense is just incredible. Can't say Coach Torque is surprised. Eric Huffman wins the highs but just had a phenomenal season. Good for him. Well, rematch time. Let's not get murdered again, please. Down 7 early on. Eric drops back and throws a slant immediately to Pat Gay to tie it up early. Down 11. It isn't looking good so far. We need a touchdown here. Eric hands it off to Chris Hawley. Bounces off a blocker. Falls forward and fights for a touchdown. Tied up late in the fourth quarter. We need three here. Eric drifts to his right. He hits Eddie Estes on the out route to get the field goal range. We kick it up with three seconds left and that bad boy is going to go in and we're going to beat Georgia and move on to the national title. It looks like we're playing Penn State in the national championship so let's go get our natty. Down 10 early on and ain't looking great but Eric hands it off to Chris Hawley. He runs through the middle and gets the touchdown to get back into it. We kick three before I have to take a touchdown and lead. Let's not choke, okay please? Up 14. We see the light at the end of the tunnel. Eric rolls to his right. Sees an open receiver. Hits Eddie Essence for a touchdown. Put the nail in the coffin. We beat Penn State by 17. The offense played great. And Coach Torque and the San Jose State Spartans win the national title. Our ceiling was nine wins for like five seasons, but we finally pushed through after getting spanked by Georgia. We won the Natty in year seven. If you want to watch another awesome video, click the one on the screen where I add the national champ to the SEC after every season. I think you'll love it.